Before we get started, let's create a backup file for your Kronos. To do this, let's go to disk mode and let's go to the save tab and at the drop down, press save PCG and call this my backup. And OK, leave everything selected and just press OK. This just ensures that if anything goes wrong, you can restore your Kronos to the way it was. When you purchase Levitating from the Narf Sounds website, you're given a download link. And once you download the file, this is what you get. You get the Narf Sounds Kronos Levitating .zip file. Most computers will already open this automatically, but if not, just go ahead and select the zip file and double click that. And you'll get this Narf Sounds Kronos levitating folder. So what you do is select that, insert a USB stick to your computer and drag that to the USB stick. So we select this, drag, and I'm gonna put it to this USB stick. Right now it's called no name and just drop it right there. So we just make sure that the USB stick has this file. It's a folder and it says Narf Sounds Kronos Levitating. If we open it up, it just has a PCG file and a levitating folder. And inside this is where our samples are. So once we have that in our USB stick, you can eject that and insert it to your Kronos. Once you've downloaded the file and transferred that to the USB stick, put the USB stick behind your Kronos and go to drive select and select your USB. Locate the Narf Sounds Kronos levitating folder. Go to the utility tab and Copy, change drive select to HDD internal HD and paste. Let's change drive select back to HDD internal. And once you see Narf Sounds Kronos levitating, Pull out the USB from behind your Kronos. Now let's go ahead and load the samples. Let's go to global mode and KSC auto load. Press add KSC and locate the Narf Sounds Kronos levitating folder and make sure it's coming from the HDD internal HD. Select, open, and open the levitating folder. And select levitating samples user bank KSC. Make sure that the size is seven kilobytes. And add. Once you've done that, go ahead and press do auto load now. And okay. Now we see the Levitating Samples User Bank KSC added to the KSC auto load page and it's 3.8 megabytes and 13 megabytes for RAM size and disk size. Levitating will load in both user G and user double G of program mode and in combi mode it will be found in user G. It also loads a wave sequence in user double E, levitating loop. If you already have programs or combis in these locations, fast forward to five minutes and 20 seconds of this video. Let's go back to disk mode and select Narf Sounds Kronos levitating folder, open and load the Kronos levitating PCG. 
and OK. Let's go to combi mode. Let's go to user G and triple zero. And now we have levitating all set up. If you have programs already in user GG and user G of program mode, this will conflict with the programs in the levitating PCG. So what we can do is load the programs and combinations one by one. So let's go to disk mode and let's select Narf Sounds Kronos Levitating and open that. Open the Kronos Levitating PCG and select the Programs folder and open. Select back User G and open. And select all the levitating sounds. Levitating loop to levitating yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's press multiple select and select all of these and let's press load. Load selected and let's choose an empty slot in program mode. So in this case, it'll be loaded in G50 and I'll press OK. And go to bank user GG and open that and I have two programs that are EXI so I'll select levitating rise press multiple select and select levitating six and seven sin brass and load them so I'll select an empty slot in this case I'll put it in GG 80 and 81 and press OK. Once the programs are loaded, I'm going to load the combi. Select combinations, open, open that, and select levitating, and press load, and choose an empty combination slot. In this case, I'll put it in G24 and OK. And I'll go ahead and load the wave sequences. So just select wave sequences and load. I'll go to combi mode and select levitating and OK. At this point, you'll notice that each of the program slots have the wrong program in it. These timbres do not correspond to the levitating programs. So what we do is we locate levitating one loop and we will put it in timbre one. So that was in user G, levitating one loop goes here. You can see that the name says levitating one and on timbre 2, we'll put levitating 2. Levitating 2, strings fall. OK. On timbre 3, we'll go and choose levitating 3, claps. On timbre 4, we will choose levitating 4, piano. On timbre 5, we'll go to user GG and select levitating 5 rise. Okay. On timbre 6, we'll go back to user GG or wherever you put your programs and locate levitate 6 and 7. On timbre 7, we'll do the same thing. We shall locate levitating six and seven sin brass. So both timbre six and seven have the same program. On timbre eight, we'll go back to the HD1 program. And locate 
Levitating 8. Yeah, 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 yeah. And okay. And this should sound correct at this point. Once you've selected all the correct programs, you can go ahead and write combination. At the drop down, select write combination and okay.